Good afternoon. It's third time with Miss Denise again, and today we're doing a little artwork. Just something to keep the kids busy. I don't have many colors. I don't know what that is, and that's the beauty of it. Once they create the art, they can tell you what their design is. That may be a dinosaur or a dragon. Look like he has on the pants and a jacket. But once the paint dries, you can always add googly eyes or you can draw the facial features in. And I only had green and blue paint when I did that one. So, all I'm doing is using washable temporal paint. And I have my blue, green, and this is not washable. But this, this is not acrylic paint. So, I try not to use acrylics with the kids, but if that's all you have, make sure you let them put on old t-shirts or old clothes and just, just be creative. So what I'm going to do is put some paint block, paint dots on the paper. If the phone will sit still for me. Yeah. And I'm just going to drop a couple of dots here and there sporadically. Not a whole lot, just a few block, blotches. And I have paper up under the paper so that if the paint runs to the edge, it will get on the other paper. You know, just being creative. They can just put the dots anywhere. I'm just doing the center. Uh, let me go over here. I maybe use a tad much. Use little bathroom cups if you have to to keep from using too much paint. Or you might want to use brushes. And I'm going to take my paper with my paint dots, fold it in half. Try not to go all the way to the top because it can make some pretty scary looks and some of them don't look child friendly if you go all the way to the top if you know what I mean and just gently rub sorry a little too hard gently rub your paint into your paper open your paper slowly And voila. It looks like it may be a bull. I'm not sure. You can turn it up the other way. Whatever direction the child chooses. Looks like it may be a... Hmm, it can go with the very hungry caterpillar. Wow, look at that. So be creative in your artwork. Let's try another one. Let's see. The small dots of paint. It doesn't take it long to dry. With these hands I can, you all be creative. And I'm just going to tell you, once they start making one, they go, can I do it again? Can I do it again? It keeps them busy, and it keeps your mind occupied as well. So you want to do it so much? Go sit down and don't do this and leave that alone. Give them something to do, a little artwork, a little fun. Pull out the old tablecloth, plastic Dollar Tree tablecloth, and just let them have fun. But you have to supervise them because you don't want them painting the furniture. And the floors and the walls. And there we have it. Looks kind of like a bomb pop at the top. You can turn it in the direction that you want. Such pretty abstract art. Just something to keep the little ones busy, y'all. Now I'm going to hang them on the wall so that they can dry. You don't have to staple to the wall. And there are the pictures. There you have it. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this little artwork. Be creative and have fun.